Hey, thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to discuss a few topics about the Mandela Effect. First, let's talk about Smooth Criminal. I recently heard this song was a victim of the changes, but I am here to prove that wrong. Don't worry, I'm not one of those people who is just going to take away from your life. I plan on adding some good information too. This song was originally written by Michael Jackson, who was very kind and in later years allowed Alien Ant Farm the opportunity to remake the song. Now, I like some of Michael Jackson's songs, but Alien Ant Farm did Smooth Criminal so much better, in my opinion. I tediously went line by line looking for differences between the two songs, and most notably were the differences here and other small changes soon surfaced in the chorus as well. Here are the lyrics that are in question. We can clearly see that Alien Ant Farm has changed some of the words and Struck By was one of them. Yes, the original Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson repeats Hit By. We remember Struck By because that is how Alien Ant Farm did it. And it is the better version, so of course that's what we remember. But as I promised, I was not going to take a Mandela effect away without replacing it with a new one. My son and I play Call of Duty, and I'm working on getting dark matter camos for my guns, but I was always calling it black matter because this is the word I learned in science. Well, I was finally corrected. It's called dark matter, mom. The mother and me started to preach about science, and as I started to look up black matter, it was all replaced with dark matter. NASA explains dark matter by saying, first, it's dark, meaning that it's not in the form of stars and planets that we see. Obviously, this is just my recollection of the subject, although I would love to consider myself well-versed in the science. I am an economist. I would still love to know if others remember black matter or if it is just simply my malapropism. Since we are on the subject of space, I would like to offer the ME community a bit of proof on a different case. Our placement in the universe Again, from school, I learned we were safe and sound on the outskirts of the Milky Way galaxy. My world was turned upside down when I found out that we were much closer to the center. According to Universe Today, the Earth is located about 25,000 light years from the center of the galaxy, and the galaxy is 100,000 light years end to end. This beautiful picture provided by NASA shows we are just in between the two main bands. Some of you may already know about the CIA releasing over 12 million pages of documents online. Everything we talked about today will be linked in the description box for your review. Anyone can come to this library and look up all sorts of fun stuff that the CIA has released. I found an article while searching the keyword space-time titled Boundaries of the Cosmos. This document was approved for release in 2011, uploaded in 2015, but written in 1990. Dr. Leondid Grishnik wrote this paper to define our understanding of the cosmos in August of 1990. The explanation of the motion of the heavenly bodies and even the prediction of the new planets in the solar system was the triumph of the Newtonian theory of gravitation. Later, the study of the stars and star systems followed. The idea that the sun is an ordinary star did not come easily either. Relatively recently, scientists presumed that the sun was located near the center of our star system, our galaxy beyond the boundaries of which possibly there was nothing. Nothing was known for sure about the existence of any formations whatsoever beyond our own galaxy. Only in the 1920s to 1930s, thanks to the rapid progress in the development of observation equipment, was it finally proven that there are a number of other stellar systems and galaxies outside our own galaxy. Approximately in these years, it was discovered that the Sun is located in by no means remarkable area almost on the outer edge of our own disk-shaped galaxy.
When Mandela passed in 2013, I remember commenting on some Facebook posts that were celebrating his life. Those sharp comments were asking why they were celebrating him being that he was so bad of a human, and why now, so long after his death. Naturally, I want to know what the CIA has on him. Oddly enough, Simply typing his name in led me to this quarry, where the first option displayed is Nelson Mandela, what if alive and well and free in South Africa, originating in 1986. Wait, what? This is before the 1991 death date us ME soldiers reference. Although more than half the document has been sanitized, the information in the paper is very interesting. When I was young, I learned about a very different person, someone who belonged in jail. This article shows someone who was unwilling to negotiate for his freedom because he wanted unconditional freedoms. He fought for civil rights and was someone to be admired. But this title? I just cannot let that go easily. What if alive? I mean, that's not smoking gun proof, but it's a casing.